git last week uh, Matteo taxonomy localization issue is fields he said it was not a common case but he found an issue which he fixed um, on dev this is yeah this is interesting um, so what's his name I don't remember but he said well he said he showed something last week let me show you he tweeted about it not sure it was on the PR so uh, if I look here this one I'm not sure what you will see I will share the link uh, it's a way to create tabs from the placement editor and then move parts in different tabs it's very interesting so here is moving the body zone and then is that a zone body no it makes the tab yes it's a tab sorry a body tab and it moves things in different tabs and it appears um, in the editor you see creating a new tab moving stuff in another tab and when it goes to the editor if it goes to editor f5 and you can see a new tab so that works well so i will just share the the link here the notes and if you want to see it in the chat okay and and so that was a nice nice contribution from him um, so this is this one in the branch this one web request help with correct weight format JSON uh, same contributor he fixed the documentation to explain how to how to encode uh, curly braces from a token uh, identity to shape menu item this is to be able to export it from Kigan and that's it on one then and then option core so multiple efforts at the same time uh, we have Alexander who's working on the user branch uh, which is adding more features and also abstracting the user with an iUser interface which was already started by Rustem uh, so it's going on there is a PR uh, maybe it's updated now and I should check uh, there is there is there is um, that oh yeah this is the fix that we saw last week that when we opened a preview it was not showing up at first we had to um, update the content to show up so now it's fixed and some other improvements in your activity a nice thing with it also is that uh, i got confirmation from uh, jasmine yesterday um, nice thing is that you can open multiple preview windows for the same template or for the same uh, content item and then you can have uh, the different sizes open at the same time like a mobile a small and a large view all the three windows open at the same time and as you type changes in the content or in the template you can see the the behavior in the different um, uh, different sizes of windows and that, that, that looks very nice it's live so the three uh, windows update at the same time so this was nice otherwise what do we have uh, this was last week the beta preview branch which was merged um, this is Jean Thierry working on the fluid branch um, to call my changes from the preview and some liquid updates so nice refactoring it's an active PR it should be done this week and i've worked with him on uh, refactoring the um, the different filters and tags that, that should look nice um alexander works in on the user branch Chantieri on the free branch antoine working on the bootstrap 4 beta so there is a beta version bootstrap 4 so he's updating 
uh, the themes uh, with that you see nine hours ago and 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 um, yeah the new, new thing is that I changed the media to support other files and images uh, you might remember two weeks ago Sipke asked about other file types and yeah it will it will not show any thumbnails so now it's showing an icon at least it shows something it doesn't download the file which it was doing before so now it's better um, that's it for the changes I can show you something it's more that arrived so what we have here I assume you can see my screen but I'm not seeing the correct toolbar So um, this is a branch I haven't pushed yet. Um, so in this branch, what I have, so first the the media. So I call it files. I don't call it media because I want to be able to have a media a page where it shows media content items uh, instead of just file management. So I want to reserve the media term here. Files is the same as before. Okay, you can upload things, and yeah, now you can upload more than just images. So images for sure and if you upload uh, a PDF or any text file what do you have here uh, text file and a JSON file open you see now they show the sample icon that's not nice looking but at least it's not an image and it will work perfectly so you can still have uh, any file here and you can use it if you want in the in the media field so that works. Um, so that's the change on this page. What else? Oh, so on, on this branch, what I have is I updated the recipes. Um, I'm looking at everything to make it look nice. So now, um, if I go new, I still have page, but I have article also. So page is the old flow page. The same way in Orchard 1 we have the page which is using the layout part by default, the page is a free form content item. You type a title and then you have the flow part to add anything and to to organize your content as you want. Okay. Um, and if you want just a body, then it's an article. And then you have the HTML body. I don't know, maybe I think Drupal also uses article. They used to use story for this kind of thing, but I think they use article also. So page is a free form um, content and article is based on a body. Okay, so for instance, the about page, the about page is an article. <clears throat> and page could be used for a home page where you want to place custom widgets on different positions with custom rendering, custom logic, queries and everything. So more free form thing. A liquid page, uh, I'm not sure I want to change the, the name, we can, but nobody's complaining so far. Liquid page is when you can render liquid. It's like a razor page in ASP Core 2.0, but uh, with liquid. So you can do whatever you want, it's just liquid syntax. And you can contain some small logic and execute queries too. Um, so I will keep it so far this way. Liquid page. Um, blog and menu don't change. Uh, content here, it's files now, that's the only difference. Uh, and I think that's it in the recipe changes. I changed the defaults for, um, oh, I fixed the image and image. So image here is an image widget, but the display name is image, but there is the widget tag here. Image is a content item. Um, and I fixed the issue where I could not design the image part because actually there is no image part this is a widget and this is a content type and uh, but you can customize them I will document that but it looks nice um, that's it um, for the changes questions <coughs> Sorry. no questions no comments that's good so um, that's all my demos I have um, a topic I close yes I closed it I have a topic um, about the recipes that we should ship so <coughs> sorry I'm updating the the blog theme so that uh, when we um, 
um, install the the recipe blo the, the blog recipe uh, i think i will create um, an optional uh, side uh, side colon on the right so we can put widgets on it like recent blog posts tags and everything um, that would be very easy i remove the subtitles to make the the content more uh, stand out like you don't have to provide um, header image and a subtitle it's it's not there you can customize if you're on the theme and the content item but it's not there by default it will work fine so we'll have a, a nice quote unquote nice uh, blog theme so this is based on this theme so clean blog theme okay clean blog theme which has been ported to all the cms's a ghost wordpress blogger uh, jekyll uh, so um so this is the one we are uh, we are using right now which looks nice for a blog theme um i would suggest also to uh, create oh, i will go back there to create uh, more themes like this like one or two more just to as a as a tutorial like to have something to for people to to see how to do things and also maybe to have something to bootstrap a website from um so oh, i see it's a comments um so on this website there are some free themes and there is one like um agency let me show you which looks nice the idea being it's a one page website not like a blog but we can add a blog because it's just a list and there are sections like this like services portfolio which are just images and captions well actually there are content items with some desk, desk, description about the customer um, about which is a chronology, chronology about the company and uh, and and users um, so i think we should um, do this one it should be easy make a recipe for that and convert the theme to orchard that should be super easy and then we could also model the content like services as a content item a portfolio same thing uh, and about so that um, when you edit the so it will be a, a page with a flow part and when you edit the different sections and you can add more sections if you want you will see the result directly and that will show how to create custom content types custom lists uh, custom flow page and custom widgets to display these elements and also theme them and at the same time people could start from it to create a, a single page uh, website where they can edit their content and they could then change as they wish the, the theme to change the home page and the, the design i think that would be a, a nice uh, website to have as a, as a default recipe on top of the blog um, um so that and and optionally i don't know if we need a, another one like um, a web app brochure like this or any other but at least the agency one might be interesting you see this one is simpler because they are just the same widget to, to reuse the, an image and some caption and maybe something like this so in the end it's almost the same but the content types uh, initially would be different because they target like a nap that might be a, an idea for a phone app or a web app or anything like this a service and not just a company so this one this one is the same freelancer is the same as the agency actually most the same and this one what is that don't remember yeah almost the same thing you see so by having one site with things like this and pictures like this that you can edit and when you click you have a pop-up showing something an image or content then we will have a, a good tutorial for people to to start from to reuse we could also write an article or a video about how to to make it how to customize it to be nice so i'd like to have some recipes like this at least one more like this to 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 let people start new website without starting from scratch or yeah already reusable websites and maybe add some settings to the theme to uh, to customize things like the home page with a media field or something like that good
notes. And the link in case someone wants to reuse it. Um, so this is the preview and the site where you can find some templates. So that, that should help a lot, I think. Other topics? Questions? Yes, yeah, so there is supporting the themes, um, but it has to have a, a purpose like a target market. Like we have a blog, we can create an, an agency uh, slash ISV um, site. We might want to target some other um, kinds of websites, uh, maybe one more community oriented, like I know, I don't know, a, a sports association or things like that. Um, we could brainstorm on, on that based on what people use, but with a blog and an agency, we'll, we'll already cover my... So if you have ideas, Antoine, please send me some links. Uh, or we can talk on that uh, about that on Gitter. Um, could be interesting. Even more if they are customizable so that people can already use them, if not just as a, a tutorial, like just have website running. Good. Um, I also I, I was also looking at um, uh, how we could reuse or embed a static site generator in Orchard. So there are two ways with static sites. Either we use an autonomous one from a command line and it will fetch data from APIs um, and generate static site. Another way to do that will be to have a static site integrated in Orchard. So from the Orchard dashboard, we will just generate the site. Um, this is doable with the, the YAM project. So YAM IO. YAM. So this one, which is done in the .NET Core and um, is also embeddable so we can reuse it as an API. And the idea will be that we will have um, a deployment step, which will be to render a static site. So it will be part of a deployment plan. We could create a deployment, which is extract data, then generate websites. It will create a website in the archive and then deploy the website somewhere, like on Git, like on Azure, like anywhere that will host to the, the static website. And this way, with a multi-tenant solution, we could generate a static website automatically. People will, will edit their content and it will generate a website from that. We could have also a staging and production to test the website before we, we deliver it to a production. Uh, file system. So that will work. Uh, I'm, I, I was looking into how we could uh, work with it. That would be a, a nice solution, I think. That's the status. And if there are no other questions or topics, then it will be a short meeting. Robert will have the last word. No status. We could ship 1.10.3. Uh, we have new stuff. We didn't ship 1.10.2 a long time ago, but um, yeah, we said we will ship also 1.10.3 soon. So we can start shipping 1.10.3, it should be quite easy if you are looking for it. I see with um, um, Matteo because he's done a lot of stuff. Maybe I think he was also pushing for 1.10.3. I will look with it on Gitter, with him on Gitter. I think he's on vacation, but he should return next week. So I will look with him if he wants to if you also want something uh, to ship one ten three.
Everyone's on vacation. No, no more. Okay, good. That's it. No more questions. Then uh, see you on Tuesday. Thanks, everyone.